The long road to recovery. Tomorrow marks one year since Rich Neck Elementary School teacher Abby Warner was shot by her own student. She survived, but will never be the same. She sat down with 10 on your sides, Amy Avery, to discuss that tragic day and her healing process. Amy? Well, Lena Abbey says she still has bullet fragments in her upper left chest and goes to physical therapy weekly for appointments for her hand. She says while those physical injuries have taken a toll on her, it's the emotional scars that have hurt the worst. No matter, you know, what terror a person might go through, it always stays with them. And, you know, I know it'll always stay with me. Former Rich Neck first grade teacher Abby Zwerner says because of that day, she's not sure she'll ever go back into a classroom. She was shot by one of her six year old students. The bullet first hit her left hand, then went into her upper left chest. She says she still has scars from that day that will never go away. But when talking about her family, she says they're the ones who got her through. I just feel lucky you know, to have the family that I have, to have the support system that I have, the friends that I have, the boyfriend that I have, they've always been supportive. They've always been loving and caring. And what happened last year really, and you know, throughout this whole past year, 2023, it really made me, I guess, just more heightened or more aware of just how great they are. Abby says her mom and sister had to take time away from their work and her brother moved back home to help. She says she's been through five surgeries and following the shooting was unable to do simple tasks like shower and get dressed. She says she lost herself following the shooting and still suffers from PTSD, often even reliving the moment she saw the boy pull the trigger. I asked Abby if she's been back to Richneck since that day. I felt like I needed a somewhat good memory rather, you know, to leave the school rather than the last memory I had of being there. On the legal front, Abby's attorneys, Diane Toscano and Jeffrey Bright, say although a judge ruled that they can move forward with their $40 million suit alleging negligence on the Newport News School District's behalf for not following protocol, there hasn't been much movement toward a resolution. The Newport News School District is still maintaining to this day that it's workers' compensation that being shot by a six-year-old is just a mere hazard of the job. And they say no one from the district has reached out in any way. So far, the insurance carrier and the school board has put their head in the sand and said, no, we're not talking. Now, Abby didn't want to speak about the boy or his family, but coming up at six, what Abby plans to do tomorrow and her answer when we asked her why she didn't call 911. Amy Avery, 10 on your side.